Are you looking for a last minute gift? Well, maybe a gift basket is what you should be sending. Is it worth sending one of those though sight unseen this holiday season? Will what you're seeing in online or in those catalogs actually be what's in the basket and what the person receives, right? You wonder about that. Consumer Reports is going to help us out this morning. They ordered 25 different gift baskets from five of those popular companies to see which ones are actually with, worth taking a look at this year. Gift baskets can be easy to give and fun to receive, but will the goodies you order be what the recipient actually gets? There's often some uncertainty about whether or not the things you see in the pictures will be what's in the basket when they open it up. And Consumer Reports wanted to find out. Some of its staffers evaluated the experience of ordering and receiving gift baskets costing $100. The baskets were picked from five companies, Gourmet Gift Baskets, Harry and David, Knack, Mouth, and Olive and Coco. Senders and recipients documented their experiences. We found a wide variety of foods such as specialty pasta, premium sauces, chocolate delights, and high-end breakfast goodies. Two of the companies, Mouth and Knack, give the options to create a custom basket. And Knack and Gourmet Gift Baskets cater not just to food, but to other options. The gift message itself mentioned that all of the items are made by women-owned businesses. And to me, that just makes it extra special. Did the packaging feel gifty? Olive and Coco's items come in a wooden box. Harry and David sent one order in this small trunk. Really kind of cool, certainly reusable. Mouth wrapped up their goodies on a cheese board. And what if something in your order goes wrong? Harry and David was having a bad pear day. Three of the four gift baskets that Consumer Reports ordered arrived with bruised pears. As you can see, the pears, there were nine of them, came in damaged. When contacted, Harry and David promptly sent replacement fruit, and one person who requested chocolate instead received it the following day. In the end, Mouth made the senders and receivers happy, citing the ability to create your own gift baskets for the recipient. Packaging is not snazzy, but more of the natural brown paper variety. Knack was favored for their high-quality offerings and a range of prices. Gifty said that the artisanal items made them feel special but some senders grumbled about spending $10 extra for the non-optional packaging. But the gift receivers appreciated the presentation. All right, now another big important question is what you see, what you actually get. Well, none of the gifts arrived looking exactly like they did in the highly styled web images, but nearly all of the senders thought that what was delivered did closely match, at least good enough. And there were a few substitutions sometimes, so keep that in mind. Not everything may be available that you see on the screen. So 